Hey, we're going to be covering chapter 9.1, Applied Distance and Midpoint Formulas. So you've probably covered the distance formula before, if not in geometry, then in algebra. And we use this to find the distance between two points, in this instance, A and B. Now, each point has a set of ordered pairs, x1 and y1, and x2 and y2. The relationship between these points we call the distance, and we can use this formula. So the distance formula is the square root of the quantity x, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Now for the midpoint formula, rather than finding the distance between a and this should be b, rather than finding this entire distance, we're going to be finding half of that distance to the midpoint or the halfway point between this distance. So the midpoint formula is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 for our x value and then for our y value we have y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So an application of these concepts we find in this problem. Write an equation for the perpendicular bisector of a line from a, negative 3, 4, and B, 5, 6. So if we just sketch this out, we have negative 3, 4, here's A, and 5, 6, B. And we have this line, and we want to know the equation for a perpendicular bisector. If you remember from geometry, a perpendicular bisector is anything that bisects, so it makes two two different sections, which is the bi, and it forms a right angle to our original line. So this would be our perpendicular bisector, and we want the equation of that line. So we're going to first find the midpoint, and then we're going to calculate the slopes. We're going to first calculate the slope of our line from A to B, and then find the perpendicular one for our perpendicular bisector. So to find our midpoint, we're going to use our midpoint formula. So m equals x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 equal over 2. And now we need to label our points a and b for their x and y equivalents. So we have negative 3, 4. This will be x sub 1, y sub 1 and then 5, 6 for x sub 2, y sub 2. So we have negative 3 plus 5 over 2, 4 plus 6 over 2. Now we simplify this and we have 2 over 2 and 10 over 2 which is 1, 5. So our midpoint is 1, 5. This accomplishes the bisector part of our perpendicular bisector because we know that 1, 5 here is where it bisects and is the midpoint of A, B. Now we need to find the slope of A to B. So if you remember our slope formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So our y sub 2, 6, and then y sub 1, 4, and then 5 minus negative 3. So our slope is 2 eighths or 1 fourth. Now this is the slope of AB, but we want something that's perpendicular to this, so we need to find the negative reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of 1 over 4 is negative 4. So finally, when we put everything together and write the equation of our perpendicular bisector, we have y equals, excuse me, y minus. So we need to plug in our point um, 1, 5. So y minus 5 equals negative 4 x minus 1. Negative 4 is our slope and these two are our points from 1, 5. Or we can write this as 
y equals negative 4x plus 9.